you want to know how to make a trellis super easy and really cheap and something that can be taken out and is not permanent, this is the video for you. Here are the things that you are going to need. Stakes. I am using these stakes because I feel like they will last better through the season rather than bamboo stakes, which I would have to replace after one season or maximum after two. So I'm going to use these stakes. The second thing you're going to need is a trellis netting. And lastly, I am going to use these cable ties. Now, instead of a trellis netting or cable ties, you can also use jute thread, but I feel like that kind of method will take longer. Today, I don't want to spend a lot of time on this task, so I want to do it very quickly and efficiently. And I think this will be the best method. So let's get to it. But yes, you will also need a scissor. I'm doing this in my two by four raised bed, so I'm going to use three trellises, one at two ends of it at the four feet raised bed and one in the middle of it. So if you have a longer raised bed, I would suggest doing it at every two feet intervals. That would give the most support to the structure and it won't fall off in the middle of the season. The first stake I am attaching at the end. The trellis would be in the middle and this would be the last stake. Trellis netting is five feet by 30 feet. I'm going to see how much I need. I'm not going to need a lot, so just about that much. I'm going to cut at the end of this. Before I cut through the entire trellis, I'm going to start tying it using the zip ties. Now, I never knew this about the zip ties, but if you're doing zip ties for the first time, there's a shiny surface and there's a serragated surface that is bumpy. The shiny surface needs to be on the outside and that will help the zip tie lock. If you put the serragated surface outside, and this is the serragated, or the bumpy surface, it will just keep going through it. So remember, the shiny surface needs to be outside. I've wanted to do this trellis for a really long time and last year I almost made it with jute but this year I have a better idea and I feel like this will last through the whole season but when I don't want it I can take it out and be done with it and plant something else in that same space. Now this is important for a small space gardener like myself because I don't have a lot of space so I will be alternating different vegetables in that same spot and the same spot that is growing peas this year used to grow okra last year and the year before that it used to grow zinnias and the year before that it had tulips so I have grown a lot of things in this space and I definitely don't want it permanent now I'm gonna cut the rest of it from this side And I'm also going to cut off the bottom part of it. It's, it's going to just be messy in the garden. a little bit of support in the middle. Now this trellis is complete and you can use this for growing peas, runner beans, cucumbers, even smaller melons. 
I hope you get a chance to try the uh, trellis out. It is super cheap and easy to make and when you don't need it or when you want to grow something else in that same space in a small garden, you can just take it out and put it away. And if you want to know how to plan a garden from scratch, check out this video right here, which has my six-step plan to start your own garden.